This is Antonio Mujorado, and uh, this is the continuation of the of using arrays. Now we will use arrays in functions. So we have this previous program where you clear the memory, get a value, and store values into an array, and then we display the array. Okay. So let's suppose that we want to have functions because you already know that when you are working with programs, it's better to have modules or functions where you can do things and anytime you can reuse that functions in any other program okay so it will be easier for you and you can make money on the software so see this is the same program but i will use a function to get a matrix as a return value so i'm using these statements to get a matrix so let's uh, let's suppose that we have a function that gets a, it gets a ir numbers as a as a return value equals get matrix i mean sorry get array get array ah okay so the first thing we're going to do in this function uh, we're gonna get the value from the user the number of elements to store then we're gonna get a loop to get every element into into the array and we finish the loop so this is the way you can get an array uh, IR numbers will be my, my array so I'm asking the number of elements to get, and then I'm using a loop to get every element in the array. So this is my main program. In my main program, I could use the same name for the array, or I, can, I could use another name. So IR values, for example, equals get array. So get array will get the whole array. So now IR values will be will be my array. So if I display IR values, I will display the whole array. So anytime I want to get an array, I could reuse this function. Okay. So I don't have to write the function to get every array. I can only have only one function to get an array, and I can reuse get array. So I could get, I could have another, like for example, I are, um, I don't know, uh, nums equals get array. And display, I could display that I are nums. Okay, so if I run this program, um, in my console, um, um, I'm uh, asking to, I'm asked to get the number of elements. So I put a five, for example, and then I put one, two, three, four, five. That is my first array. Then I have another uh, question: enter number of elements. I can I can write a three, and the ten, the twenty, the thirty. So I this is the other array. So one array is r nums and the other array is r values the first one okay that's it so this is the way we can use a function to get an array in the next uh, tutorial we can have a function that gets an array as parameter to do something with it okay so I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial, guys. See you in the next tutorial.